travel is expensive. These days, there could be lots of delays, and you may wish that the stranger squeezed into the seat next to you was wearing a mask. Fortunately for all of us, there's another kind of travel that's usually much closer at hand, visiting a museum. To be in a great art museum, like this one, is like going to an airport, where the destinations are limitless. Through time and space, and maybe even travel into other people's minds. It's precisely this experience that's brought beautifully to life in our next piece, Modest Mussorgsky's Pictures and an Exhibition. Mussorgsky was inspired to write this piece by doing exactly what I'm doing now, visiting a museum, where paintings by his friend Victor Hartman were being displayed. Hartman had recently died, tragically young, and in this piece Mussorgsky mourned his friend by musically evoking some of his paintings. There's dazzling variety here. Some of them are funny, some are menacing, some are poignant. We have realistic scenes of 19th century Russia and Poland. And then there are also creatures of pure imagination. It's all made even more vivid by the orchestration by Maurice Ravel. With his mastery of the orchestra, Ravel took Mussorgsky's black and white piano notes and colorized them, if you will. But part of the genius of this piece is that its real subject isn't the pictures at an exhibition, but rather the process of looking itself. What we're doing in this piece is we're looking at looking. Actually, we're looking at looking at looking, because Hartman's paintings themselves express how he looked at the world. Mussorgsky ties these vignettes together with a theme he calls promenade. It's a depiction of, well, a looker, a visitor walking through a museum. This theme passes from one instrument to the next, changing key, changing mood, bridging the space between the pictures, just like our imaginary spectator passes from one to the other. I like to think of it in film terms. If the individual musical pictures are what we might call cutaways in a film, meaning shots of things that a character is looking at, the promenade pieces are what we would call the reaction shots, where the film editor would cut back to the character's face to see what he or she is feeling. And it's those reaction shots that make a film scene into a story, not just a collection of images. In just the same way, the promenade is what makes this piece into a story and brings it to its climax. A word about that climax. The end of this piece is called The Great Gate of Keys. Victor Hartman, the painter, had drawn a design for a massive gate to be built in the Ukrainian city of Kyiv. When we get there, listen for how the theme of the promenade reappears and becomes part of the great gate. I think the message is clear. These paintings are the great gate. Experiencing art, or music, or literature, or theater, or any other kind of creativity, is a door that's waiting, if we're ready, to take us to a new world. Yeah.